Hi, it's Joe Russo here, and I'm just going to show you how you can access the My Digital Values uh, course and its modules for you to use in your classroom uh, with your students. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our e-learning platform, which is called the Virtual Learning Environment by B2L. Uh, and so what you're going to do is go to tcdsb.elearningontario.ca. And then you're going to log in as a uh, TCDSB student or teacher, faculty. Um, and you're going to use your TCDSB network ID. In my case, it would be Russo J, and then whatever my network password is. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go in through a different account so that I can show you some things. But uh, you would be going in, uh, both students and staff would be going in through TCDSB students and faculty. Okay. And so we're going to log in. I'm going to use my special login for the sake of this demo. Okay. So once you log in, you're going to land on the home page. Uh, there's three things we have to do to complete this process. Number one is to um, self-register so that you can access the master course that you're going to copy. The second thing you're going to do is locate the course shell that has already been created to match your timetable because it would have your students already in your course. So that's the second thing. And the third thing is just copying over the course into that course shell that you've identified as the course you want to use. So step number one, self-registration. Let's go to self-registration, which is right over here underneath the TCDSB logo. Self-registration, click on self-registration. Here we go. All right, and here you're going to see a list of courses, and these are all master courses. Masters meaning those are the, these are the ones that we're actually going to copy, okay, potentially from. Uh, we're going to scroll down and find My Digital Values, which um, if you're having a hard time finding it, just hit Control F, type in digital, And then you'll find it right away. And there it is. So I'm just going to cancel my search here. And so my digital values, I'm going to highlight the row, is right over there. So two things you need to do on this page. Number one is on the right hand, on the left hand side, copy the title of the course because it's going to be, um, it's going to come in handy. So control C when you're going to have to import the course into your course shell. Okay, that's, that's the first part of this. And then the second part is this blue link here on the right hand side called My Digital Values Master Course, February 27, 2015. Just click on the link and you'll notice it's going to ask you to register. So I'm going to hit register and then I'm going to hit submit. Not changing any other information and then finish. Okay, so you're done. So the first part of this whole process is now done. You have self-registered for the course so that you can actually copy it. Step number two, you're going to go to select a course. And there's quite a few courses here that you might have associated with your timetable over the years. So the easiest thing to do, uh, in my case here in, in my profile and my example here, I don't have as many courses as I would need so that I would have a space um, for me to actually enter in uh, a search for a particular course. But for you guys, if you've got a lot of courses over the years that, that have been generated automatically to match your timetable with your students, you'd have a field that would allow you to enter in a specific, um, uh, I guess, word to search for courses that are active um, for this year. So what you're going to want to do at this time is you want to type in 17... 18 SAM 1. So I'm just going to zoom in for you to see. And this is what I mean right over here. So you want to search using 17 18 SAM 1. And once you enter that in the search area, what's going to come up are only those courses that are from this year, which means those courses would have students in them that matches those that are in your course right now. Okay, in your actual physical class. So that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to decide to import this content into this course shell because it's the one from this year so that way I know that my students from this year would be able to access this course. So I select the course and now folks you've just finished step number two. So step number two, you're, you're completed step number two when you find that course shell that is active and that is basically um, a course shell from this year that matches your teaching assignment, right? On your um, on your, your teaching schedule. Because the reason why we need to do that is because when you go to class list, you'll notice that your students are already there. Okay, so here's my example students, and they would already be there, all right? So um, that's step number two. So step number two is figuring out which course shell that has already been created, that already has your kids, from this year in the core shell, okay? Now step number three, last step, is we're going to select edit course and we're gonna import the course that we want into this space, all right? So we're gonna, we, we selected edit course, now we're gonna select import, export, copy components. All right, next we're gonna select search for offering. Okay, and this is where it comes in handy because uh, you copied the title of the course way back when you self-registered. So control V and you paste the title of the My Digital Values course. You hit the search button and there you go. It comes up, you select it, and then you hit add selected. Okay, it's just loading. There it is. It's basically saying, what would you like to do? Well, I want to copy components from this course. So you're going to copy all components. Okay. And it's just about to go to um, the next and final screen, which is to show you that everything is being copied. And there it is. So this process should not take very long. However, I don't suggest that you uh, try to do anything else at this time until you see a check mark that indicates this process is complete and all the content has been copied over. Uh, it shouldn't really take that long, a minute or so, and uh, once it's done, you're ready to go. Uh, the other step would be to inform your students that they can log in and access this course, which is basically the same for students as it was for teachers. The course is TCD, sorry, the, the e-learning page is uh, tcdsb.elearningontario.ca and they would log in with their network ID and password. Same login that they would use to access the Wi-Fi, uh, log into a computer at the board, um, a, a board computer, sorry. And that's it. So you'll notice here there's a check mark. It indicates that the copy has been completed. Now, if you want to see the content, you can just go, uh, you can select at the top here, the title of the course, and you're back to the home page of the course. You'll notice everything copied over. There's really nothing you have to do in order to set this up. If you want to personalize it, you can. Um, and, and then you can go through the different modules. Uh, here, for example, is the My Catholic Values in the Viral World, and you can click on this here and go to a sample of what the, the page looks like. So this is some information, and uh, then you can go on and go review it. Finally, you go over and look at the um, activity page, activity one under My Catholic Values in the Viral World, and you'll notice that uh, it's pretty straightforward from here. You'll notice the pedagogy, the strategies, um, and everything related to uh, what the course is all about, which is, again, my digital values. All right, so that's all for now, folks. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, questions, uh, and need uh, any kind of support, please contact joe.russo at tcdsb.org, joe.russo at tcdsb.org. All right, bye for now.